This is chaos. Will somebody revenge us? Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. Uh, and hey man, I guess I should say Beaker is back. It, it looks like the bunnies are just going to take the day off, which is totally cool. That's in a sense, that's their job just to chill. So cool. Good job. Good job, guys. Uh, hi, mom. What? It looks like my mom's here as well. M mom, what are you up to? Oh, sorry. I missed the text. Okay, It's cool. We'll, we'll answer back in a minute. Guys, what are you up to? Because I'm sitting here. It is just, I don't know, mid-afternoon. And I was thinking about this base right here. You guys remember not long ago, a week or two ago, we set up this, you know, free loot base. Like, I think we always tell you guys this, and you know this. There's no such thing as free loot. But when you go into the space, that's what you see. Looks like free loot to me, right? And so when you go into this, you see, you know, 1.5 million gold, 1.5 million elixir, because we have a high level base. We don't have much to spend it on except for some walls. So we always have a ton of loot. And when you see that, you just go for it. And you don't always make the best decisions, right? Get your shades on, get your shoes off. And look at those traps, dude. I love that. Every once in a while, we get it. We get obsessed with, you know, doing a free loot base like this, right? Free loot, quote unquote, free loot. But there's another thing we're always obsessed with pretty much every day is revenges. And that just sort of goes into every time we raid, we look for revenge to the point where I, I call this the revenge log. It's actually called the defense log, but it's the revenge log to me because normally you can go down the list here and I'm going to have a lot of these people already revenged. You can see right there when it says revenge not available, that either means you've revenged them or they've revenged you. Now, guys, that takes us to today's story where Larry is that their name, Larry? It's my dad's name. Cool. Now, Larry attacked us. My dad attacked us six hours and 43 minutes ago. I was asleep. So I haven't revenged Larry since then. Like that's, again, I've been asleep. I haven't done any attacks, right? See, the last attack I did was 23 hours ago. So the math here would say Larry revenged us. And can you imagine clicking on revenge or just scoping out somebody's base and seeing that? And then clicking revenge and getting in and seeing that 1.5 million gold, 1.5 million elixir. What do you do? Do you go for that free loot? Do you go for the three star? Because let's be honest, you got to choose one or the other. I think you guys know what the answer is going to be, but I am just so psyched that we even got revenge. Like, I, I really do wish we got revenge more. Um, I can't wait to check this out, guys. Let's go do it. All right. So real quick, when I saw this name, like I didn't remember the name because names are sometimes tough to remember in Clash my dad's name cool you see a lot of them every day you that you play right that sometimes you'll remember one if it's special or if you remember the person's base and i think i remember this person's base you guys remember this i think it was from a recent video probably one of the past like three videos their choice of troops is really interesting they're into dragons pekkas miners <laughs> you guys want to send them a front quest larry ah sorry dad is this dumb and fun? I don't know. Let's find out. Melly, what are you up to? <laughs> hey, but before we get too into detail on this, let me show you my favorite part. The thing that Electro Dragons were born to do. Just absolutely incredible, guys. Like, this is what it's all about. If you're going to use an Electro Dragon, you got to do it like this. You got to do stuff like this. And this makes you feel like a genius when this stuff works right when you get like five buildings in one you know chain lighting it makes you feel like a genius it no matter what you know it's true same with like super whiz stuff like that i wish they'd gone all out right i wish they had dropped every one of their dragons either on this side or the other side dude you're gonna get slaughtered there though like the heroes are just too they're too oh wait maybe they're gonna be okay no bap bap you're done Bap, bap. And guys, the one thing I think we should add, this person had their queen upgrading. When we just looked at their base a second ago, they had their queen upgrading, which is massive. They could have gotten, I mean, what, like 15 more buildings just with their queen? Like, I mean, if, if they play it well, they could have taken out the town hall with their queen, right? I mean, if they somehow got, got in there, by the way, I love that new statue. It looks so creepy. So creepy. Oh no, oh no, this isn't gonna be enough. Guys, we've seen this so many times because when you set this up like this with every single Inferno trained over here with the air blower pushing everybody back and all the builders there, 
you can't make any progress. Like you've got to have so many troops hitting that town hall and rage spells, or you're just not going to make. Now guys, question is, does it matter? Like they got the loot, they got good loot. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Get it how, get it how you get it, right? But I know whenever I see a big loot base, I'm like, I got to three star this thing, or I got to try to three star this thing. And if you split up your army, well, you're probably never going to get that. So anyway, you know what I did? And I really want to see this in action. Maybe we should try to log off right now and see this in action because I want to do something more wild in the clan castle. Whenever we get attacked, we either don't have anything in the clan castle or it's something stupid like hog riders. They don't do anything on defense, especially when it's dragons because it's normally dragons. Let's be real. That's who's attacking us. What if we had super minions? Those things butcher you. When they first come out of the clan castle, they're so strong. They kill you so fast. And then a headhunter, like the, the goblin's not gonna do anything. He's just there to, you know, be a cheerleader, but cool. Uh, just lead the way, buddy. Guys, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the ultimate troll right now. You know how people normally go just for, for the loot? What if we do this? Guys, what if we swap everything? So when they get into range over here, they're gonna get hit, in this case, with super minions. It's gonna kill heroes so fast okay can i get this any closer though hang on stash that oh dude i think i can wait a minute wait a minute okay pull that out pull that out pull that up now we're talking dude now we're talking this is gonna be sick oh this wait but now they can lure it out i don't want that okay wait a minute get back just a touch Okay, so just to raise the stakes a little bit. Paya, what are you doing? What are you doing? Seriously. All right, all right. Guys, like I said, don't get distracted, Beak. Just to raise the stakes a little bit. You guys want to boost? One, two, three, four, five. Of course, we have five of those. We always have five of those. Guys, let's keep these things boosted. You remember we did that for 100 days a little while ago or 90 days? We boosted our resources I think it was even more. I think we boosted it for half of a year or something. We should do that again. But in the meantime, I'll take five days. Oh, wait, we can get more right now. Okay, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. I will not accept the fact that there's no one to revenge. We found one, dude. We found one. Guys, I I, I couldn't find a revenge. I couldn't find a revenge. I really hope we can get this. Really, all we need is the trophies. Clearly, we don't need any loot. Don't need... But if we can get them with... Uh, we got 60 hogs. Of course, you can have 69 total, but we have something else in the clan castle. And we have five heal spells. This is a dumb army. This is a very dumb army, and that's why I love it. Let's do it up. Oh, come on! Just those traps will kill my siege. Oh, I hate you guys. I hate you guys. Done. Done. What a mess. Ah. Uh. All right, do your thing, do your thing. There we go, there we go. Let's do that again, let's do that. All right, we good. So hey, uh, can we get up here and take out that queen? Let's let's try to do that. Can we do that, team? All right, if we can take out like pretty much all the corners at this point, we just walked by the king, what just happened? What was just happening over the... All right, all right. Team, we gotta go. We gotta go. Are there any other heroes on the base? No, no, no. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. All right, here we go. Get one more heal. One freeze right there. Getting so many. Oh, no. Come on, you gotta get that scattered. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. So if we continue in at this pace, I think we're good. I, th I think we might be okay. I shouldn't say good. <laughs> Definitely shouldn't say good. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. Jump back, jump back. You guys got it. I think we did it, guys. I think we did it. And this is what I'm talking about, man. If you revenge somebody, just go all out, right? Like, whether they have good loot or not, maybe I'm coming at it from a different view because I'm I'm a creator, and so I'm trying to make it entertaining for myself and all of us. So maybe that's why, even when armies cost, like, this army used to cost, what, 10,000 Dark Elixir? And I still will do it all the time because it was fun. So I wasn't really, like, farming in a sense that I was making a good profit that looks so sick. I wasn't doing... Those are amazing. We gotta use super minis more often, man. This is chaos! 
I think revenge is one of the most underrated things in the game. I, I don't see a lot of people doing it, but I think we all should, guys. It, you know, even if you don't do what I just said, like look at the person's base first, go visit their base and actually look at it first. Even if you don't do that, you still have an advantage because, you know, you don't have to pay to search at the very least. <laughs> like that's something. I wish you could just keep revenging back and forth, like double or nothing revenge. It's such a good idea. So if you revenge somebody and they revenge you, you can double or nothing revenge them. So if you fail, maybe you get some penalty or they get your loot and I, I don't know. I would love that though. I'm a gambling man. I mean, not really. Played blackjack a couple times, but I would love that. I would love that. Anyway, look, that's it for today. I hope you guys are doing good. Let us know how you're doing in the comments below. Leave two for Lulu, three for Melly, and four for Paya. Before we go, what noise does this make when you when you collect it? Anything? No. Uh. Uh -huh. We'll see you guys next time. Right here on the one and only Beaker's Lab. You know what's a cool noise? Cool. Peace.